The Illinois Institute of Technology presents Weird Science Projects. What I have here today is a digital reaction time challenge circuit. A simple circuit diagram for the key components of this is presented here in case you want to try to build this yourself. What I have here is an accelerated construction of our digital reaction time challenge circuit. And I use a simple breadboard here and uh, throw a bunch of the wires together. I'm not worrying about making it neat just so I don't have to spend too much time with the presentation here. But uh, simple components, uh, total cost maybe uh, 5 to $10 depending on whether you buy things in quantity or not. And the LEDs, uh, of course, vary in price as well depending on their uh, output power and, uh, and color as well. So I hurry up and throw everything together here real quick and uh, you can slow things down or whatever but it's pretty straightforward construction. I use for powering the circuit three AA batteries. You can use three AAA batteries if you'd like. On the upper left hand side is a Johnson controller and it puts out a signal to ten different pins in succession based on an input from a clocking device. I connect those output pins to LEDs and no need for resistor in between because each pin can only put out about 25 milliamps anyway so that is usually the, the minimum current you need to run these LEDs. I have a freeze switch as well thrown in that's connected to the Johnson controller so it stops it when I connect the two wires together. You can use a simple switch if you'd like. On the lower left hand side is a 555 chip and that's my timing source for the Johnson controller. I have electrolytic capacitor as well as a trimmable potentiometer on the lower right hand side. I think it's a 10k in this case and you can use that trimmable potentiometer to adjust the speed of the Johnson controller. So you can increase or decrease the speed. You can just make this modifiable depending on the types of resistors and capacitors you choose to put into the circuit. And here I just give a short demonstration of adjusting speeds and triggering the reaction time switch. Here I speed it up by turning one way and then I slow it down by turning it the other way. So depending on which speed selection you would like, you just adjust the potentiometer to what you think is proper for the audience that you're going to be showing this to. I put a little switch together with just two wires again and so by pushing down I try to stop it on the green LED there I'm pretty good and I get it again and one more try and I'm pretty good so I guess I'll speed it up here a little bit <coughs> and see if I can handle it when it's going faster and so I give a shot here and uh, not too good so you can tell I'm an old fart can't seem to be able to stop it at the green and so I make several attempts and at this point it's simply a random selection as far as whether I hit the green light or not and I'm not successful at any time of hitting that green light so that tells me I better slow it down again and so I can go ahead and put it at granny speed here now and now even granny should be able to get three greens in a row which could be one of the goals for the circuit that we've got built here. And that's about it. Three times in a row for Grandpa.